Hi, this is Sarah at Awaken Acres. It's the beginning of August and we're in Southeast Michigan. Today I'm going to do a little garden and nursery update. Um, and my dog just started barking, so hopefully he won't get too loud. Here's some of our chickens. Hello, Lulu. Hi. So, here are some of my baby plants. Um, these are ones that aren't doing too good. They're stragglers. Maybe they were just slow to germinate. Um, it's mostly black locust, Robinia pseudoacacia. Um, and some of them have been bit off by a mouse or maybe a chipmunk, but they're trying to grow back. Um, so they've been nibbled and I'm trying to get them to grow back before they get nibbled again. Um, some just didn't make it. They got nibbled down and they didn't grow back. Uh, but I try to give them a chance. If they want to live. Um, I also had some red buds here, but I transplanted those into bigger pots, except for that one, which looks like it's dead. So, here is my wisteria project. They all look dead. I put cuttings in there that I took from the garage. Um, and it looks like they didn't make it, but I pulled one up the other day and there were some roots on it. So I'm gonna wait and see if they sprout up from the bottom. Um, this, I'll wait and see. Here are some pots that the roots are starting to grow out the bottom. So, I need to plant them either in the ground or into bigger pots. And these are golden honey locusts. And this is an American hazelnut. This is a York elderberry. Some more honey locusts. Some smaller ones and little pots. So I will put those in bigger pots. Um, I have a couple aronia berry bushes. I'll plant in the ground probably. And here's some rhubarb that I need to get in the ground also. And this one seems to have died. There's nothing there, but I'll wait and see if it sprouts up. Like this one's sprouting back up. I thought it was dead. So I will plant those in a spot in the ground so they're happy. This is a Mancurian apricot. I'll plant that this fall, but I don't see roots coming out the bottom, so it's not urgent. I will plant it this fall, though. Um, here are some really kind of sickly, pale-looking Chinese chestnuts. Um, they need to go in the ground, too, but I'll probably wait till September. And here is an uh, improved variety hybrid chestnuts from New Forest Farm. I put red tags on them so I know where they're from. And chestnuts are also from New Forest Farm. So we have Chinese chestnuts, hybrid hazelnuts. Soon I'll get these in the ground too because they're getting big. And I have a bunch more honey locust seedlings. I may sell some, but I don't have a whole bunch of them, so I'll probably plant them in the ground. I do have a whole bunch of black locusts, and they grew like crazy from those little tiny seedlings. Maybe it's been a month or two since I transplanted them into bigger pots and some grew kind of slow. This is maybe eight inches and some grew very fast. This must be two and a half feet already. Incredible, super fast growing, some of them. Other ones are a little slower. But in general, I think they like the heat this summer. I've kept them well watered so they don't shrivel up. 
And it seems to make them grow faster when it's consistently 80 degrees. Sometimes it's been into the 90s, but I think it, it's been an average of 80 degrees this summer. They seem to like that. The red buds are very slow growing for me. They're only maybe five inches tall. So I have to be patient with those. This is my first year growing red buds from seed. But I'm very excited. A lot of them germinated and survived. So I'm excited about that. And I have so many black locusts. I think I might try selling some of these. Hopefully I'll sell some. I don't think I have time to plant. I must have 20 or so. I just don't have time to plant that many. Um, here's another hazelnut. This is a, it's a yam hill hazelnut seedling. So a seedling from the yam hill hazelnut, Coralus avalana. It's a European variety, which hopefully will have nice big nuts. And let's see, here's some more American hazelnuts. This is a poplar that just, I think it's a poplar, sprouted up in one of my pots, so I kind of just let it grow. I'll plant that out in the back of the property. And here's an unknown tree. I'm not sure what it is. It looks sickly. I did put it in a bigger pot, so maybe it'll get a little healthier. Maybe it's a, a river birch, but I'm not really sure. So wait and see what it looks like when it gets bigger. Here are some more honey locusts I planted right in the ground and they're doing okay. Going to about eight inches. So I'll leave those in the ground this winter and let them get bigger next year before transplanting them. Here's something that sprouted up. I'm not sure what it is. If anybody knows, tell me. Guess is pokeweed, maybe? It seems to have a little sprout, berries, maybe. So it kind of looks like pokeweed. So I'm letting it grow just to see what it turns out to be. Here's some uh, willows that I started from cuttings. And I may transplant some of the bigger ones this year. But some are very small and I'll let grow a little more. So I'll leave those on the ground. I had black locust cuttings here and they pretty much did not make it. They look pretty dead. So those didn't make it. That was my little experiment. Uh, maybe I should have let them root out more before putting them in the ground. So I'll try again next year. Here's some elderberries from John's and Adam's varieties, cuttings. I don't know which is which though. Um, and they're doing good. Most of them are pretty big. There's a couple little ones struggling, but they seem to be doing fine in the ground. I'll probably dig them up this fall after they go dormant and plant them somewhere else. Or maybe try to find some homes for them. And these are, these have been doing good all summer, despite a chipmunk thinning out the batch. These are European hazelnuts, hazelnut seedlings from the Jefferson variety. Um, so maybe I can find some homes for these this fall, but uh, they are in an air prune bed and it's not a very deep one. So I'll either need to find homes for them either sell them or give them away or plant them in the ground because they can't be in this over the winter. I don't think their roots would do well. There's some more in here. More hazelnut seedlings. Some are American. Some are hybrids. I'm not sure which is which. I do have them labeled on the side. Here's some more uh, chestnut seedlings. These are Layeroka seedlings, which I believe is a cross between American and European chestnuts. 
There's some more hazelnuts in this pot. I think they're hybrid ones. I had some peach trees, peach pits planted here, and it looks like just a bunch of weeds. If any germinated, I don't see them. So I kind of gave up on those. I'm still hoping there's something in here. Um, here's another fail. These were Carpathian walnut seeds. Well, they never sprouted. The chipmunk even tried some. Although they were probably rotten by the time they got opened by the chipmunk. But they never sprouted anyway, so I just let the chipmunk have at it. Maybe I'll try a different variety. These were Carpathian walnut. And these are black walnuts I planted straight in the ground. These are from local walnut seeds, and they're doing good. Um, I would have had a lot more if not for the chipmunk, though. The chipmunk ate a lot of walnut seeds I had planted. I did have a cage over it, but once they got big, I had to take the cage off. So I will probably dig these up when they go dormant and either find homes for them or plant them in the ground. And I've been working on smashing down thistle and goldenrod, which is trying to take over the garden. Here is my Amorpha canna, canasens. I think that's how you say it. Um, otherwise known as lead plant. No flowers yet. It's supposed to have purple flowers like that, though. Uh, it seems to be doing okay. Um, this is wild lupin, and that does not seem to be doing okay. Ever since I planted it, it's been struggling. Uh, no flowers. I don't know if it's going to survive, so that I'm not giving up on it, but it looks a little sickly. I had Liatris planted here and some critter, a mouse or chipmunk, just ate them all down. So nothing there. Hopefully they'll come up next year. This is like a thistle garden. We have a great crop of thistle. These are cucumber, very slow to get going. Maybe I didn't plant them in rich enough soil. They look a little sickly, but I hope I get something out of these. They seem to be doing better. I'm not sure what this is. It's probably a gourd or something, just volunteered. I did have potatoes here. I pulled them all up, they did good. Um, in its place, I planted some peas and beans. And some of these were seeds from the local seed library and they didn't germinate too well. Uh, just a little bit. There's a few there. Kind of low germination. Um, here are some Cherokee wax beans I have growing. I'm not sure if I'll get anything off of these, but hopefully I'll get some beans. These are doing good. So, a little better germination on those. Here's some ones I just planted. So, those are doing so-so. Here are my pink tomatoes. They were doing okay. I've been watering them, so they're doing better. Already one got eaten. Uh, I see a stink bug on this one. And something's been eating it. I don't know if that's from a tomato hornworm or this stink bug which I see on there. Or maybe a chipmunk even. Who knows? It's very frustrating. This is the second tomato that's been eaten like that. Hopefully I'll get some tomatoes before they all get eaten up. This one looks nice and big. 
Hopefully nobody will eat that. This one doesn't have any tomatoes. Oh yes, it does. They each seem to have one or two tomatoes on them. So my problem this year is something's eating the tomatoes before I can let them get ripe. Here's some more cucumbers, cucumber plants. I don't see any cucumbers yet. Hopefully we'll get some. And here are my sunchokes. And they really struggled through the heat this year. And I don't know if that is what's killing them or if they have a disease, but some of these are just turning black. And it's all in this one spot. So I think there might be some, some kind of fungal disease going on down there. Um, luckily, it's just this section. This middle section seems fine. So my plan is in the fall to dig up as much of this as I can, see what it looks like, see what's going on, see if there's some kind of fungus going on and maybe just not plant anything there this year or next year, let it rest. So that's my plan with these. Um, but sun chokes are pretty tough. They're hard to kill. I'm not worried about and here are some pretty boards. Didn't plant these, they just volunteer. Grapes are doing good. These are Niagara grapes. There's a little bit of brown stuff on them. I just, I give these to the chickens mostly. I'm not a big grape fan. But if I can, if they can get ripe without the bugs eating them, then I'll eat some. But Mostly I just give these to the chickens, so we'll give them a little treat. Uh, raspberries are finished. Here's some goldenrods starting to bloom. Butterflies, especially monarchs, love goldenrods, so it's a good plant to have around. It's not a weed. Here's some more goldenrod. And this vining creature is called groundnut, Apios americana, and at first I thought they were dead, but they're not now. They're growing well. Uh, one was growing here, but a critter ate it down. And the others are doing good, though. So I'll let those grow for two or three years before digging them up. Hopefully we'll get some groundnuts out of these. So... Um, there's other things. There's a Josta berry here. Doing good. I got one berry off of it, but there's no pollinators here to cross pollinate it, so that's probably why. Okay, well, I'll just give the chickens these grapes and then end the video. Dear chickies, here, look, oh, yummy, oh yes, jump for the grapes, oh yeah, oh they're loving that, mm-hmm. Just like that. Okay, thanks for watching. <laughs>